Hey guys, welcome to Drop Your Buffs. Um, week number nine, I think we're on already. Um, I'm gonna spoil this right away because I have to get this off my chest. But um, Tyson went home, which sucks because I don't know if it was a secret or not, but he was kind of one of my top three faves for the season. Um, just because I thought he was ridiculous and sneaky as fuck. But so I'm a little upset today, so this might be shorter. <laughs> just kidding. But um, yeah, so Tyson went home blindsided. I mean, it was one of the moves they had to make um, if any of them, particularly the girls, wanted any chance of doing well in the game. So I mean it was a good move that they got rid of him. He was, you know, on a roll. Um, I think they're going to start having to look at T JT now because clearly he's the biggest physical threat now. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I'm really excited for next week. It's the 7. Uh, <laughs> the 7. Um, the 7 is other than the nine, um, top nine, top seven, um, other than the nine, the seven is one of the best points in the season. Um, I think it's actually, I mean, I don't know if we can beat the nine this season with getting Brendan off, but it's usually, like, the best point in the game because it's, there's always a really good flip. Um, everything's put into question at the seven, so <laughs> it'll go four and three. I don't know who, who will be which side, but, um, Debbie and Coach are looking to be on the outs now, which sucks because um, Debbie's not one of my other faves so we'll see how they all survive um, you know I think JT, Steven, and Taj miraculously went from being the underdogs in this game to being in probably the best position because they're the clear you know alliance of three and then they just need to pull one person from this Timbira collection of you know hooligans and misfits to um, complete their their numbers I think it's also interesting that um, it, this happens every season, but every season you see the big strong guys going down at the beginning of the merge, you know, Joe's down, Brendan's gone, Tyson's gone, every season you see this, there's like, and I kind of have explained this as my, one of my reasons why I should be on Survivor, I feel like there's a model for the perfect Survivor winner, and it's the like, personable, not super physical, like, guy or girl, um, who can make it through the first round because they're not old and they're not stupid and they're useful, but they're not over useful or whatever. So like they're not gonna be the old person necessarily that's gonna go first. They're not the super annoying girl who just is like a bitch to everyone. Candace, for example. You know? They're not failing in challenges like Spencer did. So as long as you can kinda be useful and make it to the merge, you're set to be in the top five. It's like to model and then because when you hit the merge you know you're gonna get rid of all those people who are the threats for the immunity the individual immunity so like brendan's gone tyson's gone and then who are you left with you're left with people like aaron debbie steven they're like in the middle and so i mean if you're one of those people i recommend you apply for survivor because your chances are better than just about anyone so it's very interesting hmm Mm -hmm. Um, I think what's going to happen next week, the seven, I think, unfortunately for Timbira, their day was, days are numbered, I think Coach is pretty much screwed at this point, um, unless he can be really nice to Sierra, he's not going anywhere, I, Sierra's luck, I, clearly she didn't know what was going on with the Tyson thing, she just was writing his nom name down because she hated him, I mean, if, if they told her clearly, she could have used that as a bargaining tool. But, um, yeah, I mean, I have no idea where this is going to go. I kind of don't watch all about a win. Um, I just, uh, like, I don't really like any of them as much. I'm not drawn to them. And I don't know why. There's nothing wrong with any of them. Um, but yeah, Taj can care less. JT seems like a nice enough guy, but he kind of seems like he's been playing people a little bit more than it's showing. And Steven is just, I mean, Steven out of the three is my favorite, and he's in such a good position. I kind of just want to see him get blindsided, because I think it's fun when people in really good positions get blindsided. And that's actually my reasoning, because a few people were commenting that, you know, why did you want to see Brendan go? He was my favorite. He was gorgeous. It's because he was in such a good position. I think it's hilarious. Like, I mean, even though I'm upset that Tyson's gone or whatever, because he's my favorite, um, I think it's a good move. Like. They did the right thing, and like, I don't, I mean, unfortunately, I don't want this game to fall to the model. I don't want it to be Aaron and Debbie. I mean, I do, but like, 
I don't want it to be like Aaron, Debbie, Steven making it to the finals. I want, you know, I want the Warrior Alliance to do good or like something unpredictable because it has fallen into this kind of model every time where it's the same type of person. Like, when was the last time, and you, one of you can comment, when was the last time an alpha male won? Because it wasn't last season, because Bob wasn't an alpha male. It wasn't the season before, because what was that? Fins versus favorites, it was all girls. What was that season before China? Todd, not an alpha male. Like, I can't even remember what's after that. But like, or before that, because <laughs> I'm doing this off the top of my head. But like, I mean, it was since like, what, Cook Islands or something that you had a strong guy winning? So, it's just interesting um, how this model's kind of come up in the last few seasons. And you kind of saw it in the early, early seasons too. Not as much, because they didn't really understand the concept of an alliance. Um, funny story, actually. I was watching Survivor Borneo, which is the first season that they ever did, Richard Hatch. And I was talking to my friend about it, and we were just laughing at how ridiculous it is that I don't remember the names of the tribes, but the tribe that Hatch was on had an alliance, and it was just this like stupid, like, Suha, Garudi, Hatch, like, you know, like, oh, we'll just vote for the other tribe thing. The other tribe had people, and they're like, I'm morally against being in an alliance. This is stupid. It's a game. We're in it for ourselves. I'm against working with people. No, 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 no. And then they fell apart. So, like, I just think it's funny how this game has evolved um, to the point where we're at. And I think the seven, which is next week, is gonna kind of, it's like the epitome how awesome Survivor is and hopefully it's a really good episode and hopefully there's a lot of snakiness and stuff because there seems to have been a lot of that this season but um, I'm just really excited to see what happens at the 7 I kind of want like a major flip around like JT, Steven, Coach and Debbie that would be fun getting rid of Sierra because Sierra's really going to be annoying like I don't care if you guys like Sierra like I'm sorry but she drives me nuts I think she's a whiny little meh, and um, she really did just need to roll over and die. And it's too bad that they didn't tell her about voting off Tyson, because if they did, he probably would have stuck around. <laughs> but um, it's, I don't know, it's Survivor, it's so good. That's all I really got. We're running out of people to talk about, or that I care about. Um, the game's kind of laying itself out for us. Um, all I know is it's going to be completely unpredictable. I don't even know who, I mean, other than Coach and Sierra maybe, who from everyone else has targets on their back at this point. I have no idea. And I feel like it's going to be someone that we're not thinking of that gets voted off next week. I think Coach is going to stick around for a little longer. Not that we all want him to, but I mean, he bench presses 300 pounds. We're, like, of course you want to keep this guy around. He's fucking ridiculous. So yeah, that's all I've got for you. Sorry it's so short. I'm just so distraught over losing Tyson. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no for reals. I mean, I always pick my favorite and then I'm always pissed when they get voted off. And it's like every other season I pick the right person. Like I got Bob, I got Todd, in China. I'm like, hmm. Every other season. So maybe next season I'll get the right one. The fall ones I do better than the spring ones because I get a little overzealous in the spring and pick ridiculous people but yeah i've got to head off to a meeting so i will see you guys next week see ya